How can governments make clean energy economically sustainable? What would you advise? Huh. Where to start? Um, so there's a few things. Uh, first is creating standards, right? One of the th one of the things that I've seen is good solutions have been corrupted by finding by eating at the edges, right? Finding loopholes to things, and so part of the role of government I see is providing standards, right? And actively going after companies who purposely break those standards. Um, a great example is in Florida, the utility company took government funds, right, to keep the lights on for those during a pandemic who couldn't pay for the electric bill. They still turned off the lights on those people, but took the funds, something like $70 million in their pocket. And then they went around went and used that money to fund state legislators who to get elected so that they could protect them. Right. So like it's not enough to have a standard and a law. It's also you have to go after the people who break it. So I think that's one big thing. Investment into into companies, safe investment, um, a way so that you're not dependent on venture capitalists only as a way to grow your business. And I think the third way to keep it very uh, you know, tight is, what would be the top third one? I would say workforce. I think workforce, we, we don't have, and I, I, I would venture to say it's probably the same anywhere in the world. We do not have the workforce needed to make the change necessary. So providing funding for workforce training uh, is gonna be critical. And, and also thinking from a future standpoint, right? Like the amount of retrofits and amount of upgrades, the amount of heat pumps that need to be installed, LEDs that need to be installed, homes that need to be weatherized, weatherized um, all these things that, that how many people are needed for that? It's going to be millions of people who need to be trained into these jobs. And then the, the, on the flip side of workforce is manufacturing. There's a, there's a global shortage of, of various items that are critical to electric vehicle charging stations, to smart, high efficient heat pumps, right? to electric cars themselves. These chips and other items are, there's a global shortage and government can help address that. By the way, what is a heat pump? Ah, yes. So a heat pump is a efficient uh, way to heat and cool your uh, home or your heat and cool a building. So uh, what it does is it draws the the cold air it draws the heat out of cold air or it, it or it draws the cool the cool out of hot air and converts it into the space it is think about a refrigerator best example is a refrigerator right a refrigerator is cold inside but it's pulling any heat that's being developed in that out so your food and other things actually produce heat and so it pulls out that, that, that residual heat and pushes it out. That's what's happening with a heat pump. Okay, fair enough. And I'm assuming like in North America, as well as a lot of different parts of the world, there are still a lot of the traditional energies, well, energy usage type devices to heat or cool a property. So mm -hmm. like natural gas being, being burned to heat a house. Uh, so I suppose that's where we need to change it over, uh, retrofit or whatever it might be in order to get a new technology in which drives down costs, increases efficiency. Right. Yeah. Okay. So oil is still being used. Natural gas is being used. Yeah. <laughs> okay. By the way, what does economic sustainability even mean when we have this energy conversation or clean energy conversation? Yeah. Uh, when I think about economic sustainability i think fundamentally from a standpoint of once money's put into it 
it doesn't it doesn't need a constant flow of money for it to maintain operation. So I mean, uh, an example of that is really just you can think of a business, right? Do you need to keep putting money into it for you or you go out of business or do you have revenue coming in enough to sustain you for your operations? And so that, that's when I think of economic sustainability, that's what I think of. And from a business standpoint, from a, a uh, from a community standpoint as well.